Now stay with me, that will make sense in a bit. Let's do a quick gap analysis of where we are and where we desire to be by December 31st, 2020. So write down your goal for 2020 GCI and units, GCI and units. Now you can see the example that I've got and I'm using the goal of 1.8 million in gross commission income and 150 units, right? That was the goal for, in this example for 2020. You're gonna write down today's date. Now I'm recording this on August 28th, so that's the date that I'm using. Now, write down your actuals, right? Now this is the reason we talk, we do the four conversations every week. This is the reason why we track your numbers. So go to your actuals. And in my example, the actuals are 90 closings year to date, 16 pending under contract escrows, right? 1,165,380 in closed gross commission income and 102,987 in pending gross commission income. Okay, write your actuals down. Okay, now we have our numbers, let's do the math, okay? So you're gonna take your unit goal, again in my example, 150, you're going to divide it by 12, then multiply that by 9.5. Now, in my example, that takes me to 118.75, which is where the team in the example, right, that's where they should be between closed and pending as of August 28th. Now, you might be thinking, huh, why 9.5? Or our intent is to always have six weeks of closings pending, right? So, with it being August 28th, if you look at six weeks, that makes it nine and a half months. So now we are going back to our actual closed and pended. In my example, it's 90 closed and 16 pendings, right? So that gives us a gap of 12.75. So we're gonna just round that up to 13. So again, quick math, we put goal unit 150, we divided that by 12. We multiplied that by 9.5 to get 118.75, okay? Now, the same with our gross commission income. You take the gross commission income of 1.8 million, you divide it by 12, you multiply that 9.5, and that gives us where we, should be right now, and that's 1.425, 1,425,000. And so when we subtract what we've actually closed, the 116, I'm sorry, 1,165,380, and we subtract what we've pended, 102,987, that puts us with a gap of 156,663, okay? Now, that means, right, it's a gap of 13 units, 156,633 gross commission income. That's our gap. The goal is to have all these closed and pended by, closed or pended, right, by November 7th. Well, it is 10 weeks from now, November 7th. Now, why November 7th? Pull out your calendar, look at your calendar. We are basing this on a 45-day close. Now, some of you, may still be experiencing a 30-day close. You could make your adjustments on that. Um, or we really wanna ensure that we're not cutting it too close, right? So are you taking into account that there's Thanksgiving, a week of Thanksgiving and a week of Christmas, and the things tend to slow down with getting things closed. So that's why we're saying November 7th. So the team in this example needs 1.3 under contract every week, and 15,633 in GCI each week for the next 10 weeks. And that is how we will ensure that we finish strong in 2020. Now, let's look at the listings really quickly. Now in this example, I want you to think about how, when do you have to have these listings taken? Now, these are some assumptions, write down what it is in your market and what you've actually experiencing, right? So if we are experiencing a 30 days on market, now what we're talking about is from going live to under contract. So not live to close, but live to under, close, under contract. So if you have three days, obviously some of your assumptions would change, right? We're going, or if it was 120 days, but so what is the, what is it? We're basing this on a 30 days on market. And then we still have to have 
right? We talked earlier about making sure that we gave it 45 days and that says C and C that's supposed to say under contract to close under 45 days to go from under contract to close. Again, reminder, you know, I'm recording this. So you write down what your date is. Today's date is August the 28th. So with those assumptions, how many days until all the, your listings that will close this year needs to go live? We have 47 days, right? Because we've got, we got to go get them live, go on the market, give them 30 days or whatever your number is, right? Because again, I'm using this as my example of 30 days to go under contract and that way we still have 45 days to go under contract, okay? So how many listings will you take that will close this year? How many listings do we need to go live in the next 47 days? Write that down. Okay. Now, some of you may do this math and you just got ecstatic, right? You are on the money. You are where you're supposed to be. Heck, maybe you are ahead of goal. Good for you. What do we need to do to finish strong? That's what we're going to be touching based on during our coaching call. Now, you may have done your numbers. You've identified, maybe, maybe someone else, you just did your numbers. You identified your gap. You know exactly what you need to do to make this happen. Or maybe um, you just did these numbers and got completely overwhelmed and you are using them to beat yourself up, right? Because you think, wow, there isn't any way that I'm going to hit this goal now. Okay. First, stop. Stop beating yourself up. Numbers are the language of business. They just tell a story. That's it. This is not to beat ourselves up. Let it go. For you, what I would ask that you do, take a step back, breathe, and say, you know what? Forget what I had said. Knowing what I know now, knowing what my pipeline is, knowing the days that I have left this year, what is my intent to close? Right? Ask yourself, if I played full out and really took on lead generation and really took on follow-up, where can I be between now and November 7th with contracts, with closings and pendings? That's how we finish this year strong. So come to our call or reach out to me right now and let me know what adjustments, what you got, your ahas, right? An aha is just a paradigm shift, right? If we look at this and knowing this, what does that tell you? That way we can make sure we are tackling this together. All right. So with that said, you got this. Peace out.